so that's a little bit more fun than it probably should be but you know it is what it is there's a few cows out here i probably wouldn't mind shooting twice <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. Good morning and welcome to our ranch in Northeast Wyoming. It's a beautiful spring day. Uh, we're expecting temperatures up into the 80s today and that's why we're out early this morning and trying to get some filming done before it gets too hot just for you guys. So, what... Ah, dang flies. What we're talking about... There's another one. What we're talking about today is fly control on the ranch. We've got a number of different ways that uh, we control the fly population. And this isn't like flies in your house where you might have two or three flies. Even in our house, we only have two or three flies at any given time. But on the ranch, there are thousands. When you have animals, you have manure. And when you have manure, you have flies. It doesn't matter how well you get the manure scooped up and moved away, it's still gonna generate flies no matter where it's at. And with a ranch with thousands of acres, we never know where the flies may come from, from year to year. Here's an interesting little tidbit. If you can eliminate one fly in May or June, that accounts for 80,000 flies that you may have to eliminate 30 days later. Fly control starts early. That's kind of what we learned over the last few years here on the ranch. And the earlier we can get started on it, the better. Uh, we control flies a number of different ways. And today we're gonna take a look at some of those tools that we use to control the fly population. Here on the table, I've got a few things set up for us to take a look at. Uh, this one is actually really exciting. I haven't even used this yet. This is a vet gun. Um, basically it shoots a small, paintball-like deal. They're right inside this little tube. Um, you shoot the cow with it, and that's your fly control. Uh, I don't know how long it lasts. Uh, I really haven't read the instructions very well, so I'll probably do that before we go out. Um, but basically, like a paintball gun, and uh, you don't have to have, you don't have to bring the cows in, you don't have to run them through a chute, you don't have to do anything special. You just go out and shoot cows and end up with a dead fly. That's the hope anyway. Over here we've got our fly tags and these uh, I'm not going to be able to show you today but I can uh, show you a little footage of us putting these on in the past. Uh, these fly tags uh, go on just like an ear tag on any cow and we actually put them on the calves. What that does is then protects the calves from flies and they're constantly around their moms. They're rubbing on their moms, they're, they're feeding, doing all that good stuff. So uh, this actually rubs off on mom as well. We have a tag here for every single uh, calf and we will put those on uh, during branding. And these actually control more than just flies, but also ticks uh, mostly and uh, any type of uh, little tiny bug that might uh, get up in, into a calf. Uh, but really mostly reduces face flies, stuff like that and helps out with mom. Our next little thing that we're gonna do, uh, this is actually a fly trap. I thought this would be fun to set up and, uh, and put out and then come back and check it in a little while and see what it looks like. I'm gonna take you through setting this thing up. There's a bit of fly bait that you actually mix up. It's kind of a, a little nasty, uh, but uh, we're gonna set these around the ranch in certain places. And then over the next few weeks and months, we're gonna take a look at them and see how full they get and, and which ones seem to work uh, best and, uh, and where they put them. So with that, I ask that you subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit the bell notification so that you do get notified when we have a new video come out. And when you do subscribe, you get a chance to follow along with us and explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. One thing that I do really like about being on the ranch, and we've only been here for a few years. Uh, we started our lives in the corporate world and ended up back here to help up, help out family. And, and now we're here, we are here on the ranch. It's part of our lifestyle. But I can't really get away I guess we're all just kind of kids at heart and I can't really get away from the toys. And that's where this thing comes in. Now, all these other fly control things that I showed you, they're available at FBN, uh, Farmer's Business Network. You can head on over to their website. There's a link down in the description. Check out their fly control supplies. But this, this 
is not. And this is a lot of fun. So a few years ago, I was checking out uh, this website called Kickstarter. And Kickstarter is a website where people uh, have an idea for a invention or a product or something like that, and they need to get funding for it. And these guys uh, that uh, created this little gun <laughs> uh, were on Kickstarter at that point. Uh, I helped them out with a little bit of funding, and this is called the Bug Assault. It's actually a salt Get it? Assault gun. All you have to do is load it with regular table salt, which you pour in right here in the top in the hopper. Close your lid and you're ready to go. Mine has a laser sight. Check that out. Okay, so yeah, this is more fun than anything, but basically it's a shotgun that shoots salt and takes out flies or bugs or spiders or whatever else you, uh, you may not like. Uh, operating range uh, is about two feet. So you, gotta do, you do have to get a little bit close to them, um, but I can guarantee it's, uh, it's more fun than you'd think and uh, a little bit ad addictive. First though, I had 14 flies flying around my face two minutes ago, and now I can't find a single fly anywhere. They are afraid, which they should be. Be very afraid. Let's see what? And over here. Sitting. Boom. Fly down. Another one hanging out right there. He flew away. The flies are smart. There's one. I see him. Okay. Sneaking in. Got him. Boy, that one is gone. Be very, very quiet. Hunting flies. I think I missed that one. So that's pretty fun. Uh, you can actually get it on Amazon runs about 30 bucks or so, and uh, a little bit addictive and a fun little addition to your shop. Make sure to tell the kids not to shoot each other with it. All right, we're gonna get started here into our real fly control um, because unfortunately, I don't think this thing is gonna keep the population down, especially with me behind the trigger. We're going to start out today with these. Uh, these are Fly Terminator Pros. They're actually fly buckets. Uh, we have to mix up a little bit of, uh, of bait to go in these, and then we're going to place them out and around the ranch. These are probably the simplest uh, type of fly control that you can put out. It's very passive, so all you have to do is set these buckets out. Um, like I said, you can find them in FBN. Uh, check the description below. I think these things run about 20 bucks a piece or so right in there. And uh, you can basically leave them out for a long time. It takes forever for them to fill up, fill up. And I've found that once you start to catch flies in these things, they just come in mass. Uh, it's probably not to rescue their brothers and sisters, but whatever, it works. So all we have to do is just take off the lid and dig inside, find our gunk. Let's take a look at the instructions. Directions for use. Tear open packet, place pouches, pay, oh, okay, so there's pouches inside here. Uh, place the pouches into the trap. Do not, do not open the inside pouch, it will dissolve in the water. 
I add one half gallon of clean water to the fill line um, to activate the attractant. So these are actually a little bit nicer than the ones that I've ran in the past. I've had the ones in the past where you had to squeeze the attractant in there. I always had to wear rubber gloves because I was afraid I was gonna get some, well, actually I had, I'd gotten some on my hands and then your hands stink forever. Um, these ones apparently come in small little pouches. The attractant does. So all you have to do is dump. Do you use both of them? There's two of them. Place both. Okay, there we go. So we just dump these right in here. We don't even have to touch it, thankfully. I can smell it already. Does not smell good. Into the trash you go. And there's a fill line somewhere. There it is right there. We are gonna fill up to the fill line which I lost track of already. Where did the fill line go? There it is. Almost there. Cool, fill line. Look at that, the fly's already coming to it. Check that out. That fly's like, hey man, this stuff smells good. What is this? No, that's the wrong bucket. You need to come over this way here, I'll give you a lift. Nope. Okay, come check this one out. He's confused. It's hard to find dinner. All right, we're gonna put the lid on. The lid is kind of one of those one-way things. Um, there's one way in and no way out. Pop the lid up so it stays up like that. You got a nice little carrying handle. There's a fly right there. Maybe he'll find his way over here while we make a few more of these to put out. Here's a hint I can give you. When you fill these up, uh, make sure you do it with a pitcher or a bucket or something like that. Don't use your hose because they tend to, it might get a little bit of splashback. And again, this is, this is a, a solution, a liquid uh, evilness that you do not want on you at all, if you can help it. Because these, these do stink, um, I'm going to put them in a few strategic locations away uh, from the main portion of the shop here. The first one we're gonna drop off is for the pigs. I'm actually just gonna put it right here on this fence post. Now you can hang these, uh, which would probably work a little bit better, especially if we get some strong winds, but hopefully it'll stay there and uh, it'll do its job and attract some flies. Where are the pigs, you may ask? Um, it's early and it's hot, so they're sleeping. Here's part of one. Hey. Piggy, wake up. Oh, there's another one. See a little nose sticking out right there? Yeah, they like to hide back here in the cool dirt. What are you guys doing? Put out some fly stuff. You don't much care. You probably like the flies. I think they're friends. All right, let's put out the rest and we'll see how they do. Can definitely use one here in the barn. That one right there. One we're gonna hang here. And uh, hopefully it'll catch some flies. Good morning, girls. They haven't been let out yet. The last one. Um, I've got kind of a special place I want to put it. In the place you would think there'd probably be the most flies. And the most reason 
to want to get rid of them. This is one great big pile of poop. In fact, uh, we've been collecting this pile for uh, about a year or so, uh, mostly moving it out of that shed right back there behind me. We're gonna put our fly trap up in here, which should be the perfect breeding ground for flies. Here we go. Fly Terminator Pro and a big pile of poop. And like I said, be sure to subscribe, follow along as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. We're gonna check back in with these guys and see how many flies they caught in the upcoming weeks. All right, heading back to the shop where we can now get to the fun part and build our fly gun, our vet gun, I guess is what it's called, and uh, see how it's gonna work. Look at that, we woke somebody up and out they come for breakfast. At least one guy. Hey, how you doing? Get itchy nose today? Oh, yeah, it's so itchy. Okay, go eat breakfast. Be happy. And we're back. Back with the vet gun. Work smarter, not harder, an innovative insecticide delivery system. Shoot them. The cows, not the flies this time. All right, we'll move all this. Now, take a look at this. Let's see what we're working with here. So, here is the operation manual. Probably a good idea to look at this, um, especially since we're gonna be building it. So, vet gun. Preparing the vet gun, preparing and using, okay? Um, so here's kind of an interesting thing. So these paint balls or I don't know, let's call them fly balls. I don't know what you want to call them. Um, <laughs> uh, it says actually to shoot the cow at a distance of 15 to 30 feet, take aim at the upper right flank of the target, pull the trigger and fire the vet cap, that's what they're calling them, vet cap, vet capsules, that makes sense. But before we can get that far, uh, we do have to build it. These uh, um, don't look that complicated, but you never know. So let's see, yeah, we'll start at the beginning. Okay, so the main portion of the gun is this, the basic, the receiver, let's call it the receiver. That is the receiver, okay. We are going to start off by threading the barrel. This is the, the CO2 cartridge. Goes into here like this. This portion goes onto the bottom of the gun. Nice and tight. Okay. Then our CO2, which is the propellant goes on there. We take our tube, and this is the portion that holds the vet cap, and it locks on like that. And see what this sounds like. Oh, that's not horrible. We're getting there, we're almost done. Uh, next up is our, the vet caps. We're gonna open up one of these. So we have 15 uh, vet caps <laughs> ready to go. And uh, we're gonna head out there in just a minute. Really quick, let's talk about what these are and what they do. So the vet gun uh, delivers basically an insecticide directly to the animal. Like I said, you wanna shoot them up into the shoulder with it. Um, how long it lasts, I really haven't found any documentation here yet that says how often I need to do this. It's a little annoying. All right, so here we go. Boy, apparently a lot of people ask this question. One of their frequently asked questions, how often do I treat my cattle with the vet gun? Uh, as needed, but not more than once every two weeks. 
no more than four times in a season. So there you go. Uh, these little caplets, dose them up for a couple weeks. Um, and of course, uh, you do wanna get ahead of the flies uh, like I talked about earlier. So we are now going to grab the rest of our bullets, a little bit of a reload here. I keep saying bullets, but they're not. They're vet caps. And head out and uh, treat the herd with an insecticide that will hopefully uh, keep the flies off them for the next two weeks or, or so. We've got branding coming up, so uh, that's where these are going to come in to play here in a couple weeks. So we'll be branding the calves. We'll be putting these tags on the calves, so that'll help out the moms as well. But there are starting to get a few flies out there. Uh, we want to go out and get them treated and hopefully uh, nip this whole thing in the butt before it gets too bad. There's a few flies flying around in here. So that's a little bit more fun than it probably should be, but you know, it is what it is. There's a few cows out here I probably wouldn't mind shooting twice either, but it's a, it's a better way uh, to deliver uh, insecticides in a quicker, faster way. And uh, we're always trying to, to flip the new technology and stuff that's out there that can uh, make our job just a little bit easier. The cows, obviously, uh, none the worse for wear. The ones that we shot just kind of got up and, and moved away. And guys, it looks like we're done just in time because we're looking at temperatures up into the 90s today and uh, camera's already getting too hot and overheating on me. So um, we're gonna finish up with the vet gun, go out and get the rest of the cows with this thing. We had to come back and get more bullets anyway. Here they are. I'm sorry, vet caps. Come back and get more vet caps um, to keep on getting those cows taken care of. In the meantime, I've got a couple flies in here that I think have a date with doom. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us. Once again, we'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life. Where are you? Oh, you're everywhere, I see you. Oh, dead. Gotcha, you little bugger.